Marcus Aurelius was one of the last good emperors of Rome, a ruler who genuinely cared about the well-being of his people. He lived in an era of constant turmoil, where death was prevalent and chaos was an everyday reality. In this environment, Marcus Aurelius kept a personal manual for himself, a collection of thoughts, reflections, and insights, which we now know as meditations. Although these writings are nearly 2,000 years old, the wisdom they contain remains profoundly relevant, guiding people through their own struggles and helping them find meaning amidst the noise of modern life. Let's explore some powerful insights from Marcus Aurelius's Stoic philosophy. Lessons we can apply to our own lives to create purpose, clarity, and resilience in an ever-changing world. Ignore what others are doing. One of Marcus's insights was about avoiding the distraction of other people's lives. He advised, do not waste what remains of your life in speculating about your neighbors. Anything that distracts you from fidelity to the ruler within you means a loss of opportunity for some other task. In other words, our time is incredibly limited. So why waste precious energy on what others are doing, thinking, or saying? Why do we often obsess over others' opinions or try to keep up with their achievements? According to Stoic philosophy, our primary focus should be our own life and purpose, undistracted by external comparisons. In today's world, social media amplifies this distraction. We spend hours scrolling, checking up on people, feeling envious or inadequate when we compare ourselves to others' carefully curated lives. This obsession can leave us frustrated, questioning why we're not as successful or happy as our peers. Marcus Aurelius's advice is clear. Ignore the noise and redirect that energy toward what's genuinely important. To put this into practice, try this simple experiment. Uninstall all social media apps from your phone for a week. Don't check Facebook, Instagram, or any other network. This isn't about ignoring your friends and family, but about reclaiming your time, energy, and mental space. Use this break to focus on your goals, whether that means working on a creative project, spending time with loved ones, or simply engaging with the present moment. Notice how freeing it can be to silence the noise, feel less envious, and become more attuned to your own life. Your reality is made by your opinions. Marcus Aurelius tells us, life is but what you deem it. He understood that there is no absolute objective reality. Rather, our perception of the world shapes our reality. The way we interpret events, situations, and interactions is what truly defines our experience. This is a powerful insight because it means that we have the ability to shape our reality by choosing how we think about the world around us. The practical application of this is simple yet profound. See every situation in a positive light. For instance, if someone speaks negatively about you, you can choose to feel hurt and frustrated, or you can shift your perspective and think, if someone's talking about me, maybe it means I'm interesting or doing something noteworthy. Similarly, when people insult, criticize, or try to bring us down, it's not the act itself that causes us pain, but our interpretation of it. If we interpret others' actions as unimportant or even constructive, how can they hurt us? Practice this perspective for a week, interpreting each situation in a positive light. Imagine each challenge as a chance to grow, each insult as an opportunity to strengthen your resilience. If someone criticizes you, ask yourself, how can this feedback make me stronger? Over time, you'll find that reframing situations in a positive light can transform how you experience the world, helping you build a mindset of resilience and optimism. Dules Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the power of simplicity, reminding us, if thou wouldst know contentment, let thy deeds be few. He advises cutting out superfluous actions and focusing only on what truly matters, in other words, much of what we do and say is unnecessary. By simplifying our lives and doing less, we can reduce stress and cultivate a deeper sense of satisfaction. One way to implement this is by assessing your social obligations. When you're invited to a gathering or event, ask yourself, is this truly necessary? Don't be afraid to say no when something doesn't align with your values. Doing less frees up mental energy and keeps you focused on the things that genuinely matter. Death is knocking at your door, 
take it that you have died today and your life story is ended. Henceforward regard what further time may be given you as an uncovenanted surplus. These words from Marcus Aurelius remind us of our own mortality. This might seem morbid at first, but reflecting on death helps us prioritize what truly matters in life. Think about people who receive a terminal diagnosis. They often make immediate changes, dropping unfulfilling habits and focusing only on what brings them joy and meaning. Why wait for a wake-up call when we can adopt this mindset now? When we understand that life is limited, we stop wasting time on passive entertainment or trivial distractions. Instead, we dive into our passions, work on meaningful projects, and spend time with loved ones. Reminding ourselves of death sharpens our focus, helping us avoid superfluous activities and embrace what's important. Today, imagine it's your last day. What would you do? Who would you spend time with and what activities would you avoid? What words would you share with those you love? Let this exercise guide your actions, reminding you to live fully and intentionally every day. For one day, it will indeed be your last. You're stronger than you think. When facing challenges, remember these words from Marcus Aurelius. How lucky I am that it has left me with no bitterness, unshaken by the present and undismayed by the future. The thing could have happened to anyone, but not everyone would have emerged unembittered. This reminder speaks to our inner strength. Life throws hardships our way, but Stoicism teaches us to view these challenges as opportunities to grow stronger. If we want to build resilience, we need to change how we interpret adversity. Imagine yourself as a warrior, with every hardship as a test of your strength. Like a boxer preparing for a match, life's challenges serve as training for our character. Visualize yourself as unbreakable, wearing an armor that protects you from the arrows of others' criticism and judgment. Whenever someone tries to hurt you, remind yourself, I am strong enough to handle this. Even if a situation would break someone else, it hasn't broken you. This mental shift empowers you, allowing you to see yourself as resilient and capable in the face of life's obstacles. You are rising for the work of humankind. Marcus Aurelius writes, a man's true delight is to do the things he was made for. This prompts us to consider our gifts and how we can use them to contribute to the world. We each have unique talents and strengths, whether that's a skill for teaching, creating art, empowering others, or making the world a more beautiful place. Our fulfillment lies in discovering these gifts and sharing them with others. To put this into practice, take some time to reflect on your strengths. What comes naturally to you? What did you love to do as a child? Ask friends or family for their insights into your talents. Once you identify your gifts, think about how you can use them to uplift others. True purpose comes from using your talents in service to the greater good. Never complain. In his writings, Marcus Aurelius advises us to avoid complaining. Is your cucumber bitter? Throw it away. Are there briars in your path? Turn aside. That is enough. In other words, if something bothers you, address it without indulging in complaints. Instead of dwelling on negative aspects, take action or change your perspective. Complaints don't change our circumstances, but they do drain our energy and breed dissatisfaction. If someone annoys you, avoid focusing on their flaws. Unfollow them on social media if you must, or limit interactions. If you're unhappy with your job, seek ways to make it more tolerable or explore other options. Life will always have challenges, but we can choose how we respond. Instead of complaining about a lack of time, money, or energy, think about how you can make the best of what you have. For instance, if you dream of starting a business but lack resources, use this limitation as an opportunity to be creative. Constraints often fuel innovation, and finding ways to work with what you have can lead to fresh solutions. Make the most of your limitations and transform complaints into actions that bring you closer to your goals. You can live happily anywhere. Marcus Aurelius says, let it be clear to you that the peace of green fields can always be yours in this, that, or any other spot. 
and that nothing is any different here from what it would be either up in the hills, or down by the sea, or wherever else you will. This insight reminds us that happiness doesn't depend on where we are, but on our mindset. Many of us fall into the trap of thinking we'd be happier somewhere else, constantly desiring a change in scenery. If you're unhappy with your home or location, practice gratitude by focusing on its positives. Write down what you appreciate about your current home, neighborhood, or city. Then think about the downsides of places you'd rather be, whether that's the cost of living, traffic, or distance from loved ones. Remind yourself that happiness is a state of mind, not a place. By embracing your current environment, you free up energy for meaningful pursuits. Help the common good. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to act for the common good, saying, avoid all actions that are haphazard or purposeless. Let every action aim solely at the common good. Stoicism teaches that a fulfilling life is one dedicated to helping others. This doesn't mean we need grand gestures. Small acts of kindness and generosity are equally valuable. Practice doing good for others without expecting anything in return. Help someone out without waiting for praise. And experience the joy of giving. Marcus Aurelius tells us to act like the vine that produces grapes, expecting no reward for its fruit. For a week, do kind acts for others, large or small, without drawing attention to them. Let the simple act of kindness be its own reward. Be grateful for your blessings. Finally, Marcus Aurelius reminds us of the importance of gratitude. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Instead of focusing on what we lack, we should cherish the blessings we already have. Make it a habit to count your blessings daily. Imagine what life would be like without the things you currently enjoy, whether that's good health, supportive relationships, or basic comforts. When we recognize the value of what we already have, we cultivate a mindset of contentment and fulfillment. These stoic insights from Marcus Aurelius are timeless tools to help you live with less stress, greater strength, and a clearer sense of purpose. By integrating these principles into your life, you can build resilience, live with intention, and focus on what truly matters. Remember, life is short. Embrace each day fully, focus on your purpose, and let go of what doesn't serve you. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Stoic Wisdom. If you found value in these insights, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on Stoicism and personal development.